This one, her arm was glued back on backwards. She's got a backwards hand. All right, well, we are in Bell Vernon, Pennsylvania, and we are sitting outside the Goodwill that just opened up about 22 minutes ago. Um, I don't know what to expect. I usually don't get to the Goodwill when they just open. I usually roll in about one o'clock in the afternoon, so. <laughs> <laughs> Let's head in and see what we can find and buy and flip for a profit. Here we go. All right, so this is one we actually stopped at back in September, and this location was not open yet. Um, we had to go to the older location, and it was like cleaned out um, because they were looking to change locations. So they had like two shelves of stuff that were empty because everything was coming here to stock the shelves. All right, well, this is a happening place. They're playing techno music. I could really get into this. Sort of dance party right in the middle of the aisles. Does that not have any break? I always do this. I'm always like, oh, it's in perfect condition. And then there's one pedal that's like messed up, you know. But I think we're good here. Five, uh, <laughs> Uh, there it is. Okay, never mind. Let's keep going. This is really nice. Oh my gosh, how adorable is that? It looks like Fitz and Floyd. What's contemporary? It's $4.99. Is it Fitz and Floyd? Oh, there's a chip. There's always a chip. It's Avon. I wouldn't have guessed that at all. And I'm not mad at it either. I'm kind of in love with it. I'm sorry, I can't buy you. You're chipped. This looks like Matt's Johnson Johansson. It's made in China. It's got the mark right there. It's a really big sticker. All right, so much for that. <laughs> Those shelves are loaded. It's a good day. Two ninety nine on that. All right, this is adorable. Hi there. You have the bars on the bottom. Is the bars? Hope we, I can't remember. All right, I'm already like going nuts because I'm seeing things. All right, that's just the base. What do we have here? Oh, so cute. Okay, up here, what did I just see? Oh, 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 $2.99. Hi, get in my cart, please. Quicker, get in my cart. And then this, what do we have here? $2.99. That's made in Mexico. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, know. I get into a new Goodwill and I start finding good stuff. I'm like geeking out a little. All right, what do we have down here? I gotta remember to check down on the bottom shelves. Um, I mean, I mean <laughs> it's got these weird um, tools on it, but the backside is grapes. I'm really not into tools. I think that's kind of like, oh, hey, here's tools. That's neat. But you can turn it around and you've got grapes, and grapes are cooler than tools. Oh, they're, never mind, they're plastic. I thought they were glass. And then I got really excited about the planter, and I, got, I forgot about them. Um, okay, let's keep going. This is darling. What is this? Zreich, hand painted. The Zreich company it has a crack on it. That's Bed Bath & Beyond. Would you have guessed that? I bet not. He's charming. Who's this in the back? Oh, look at those. Oh, okay, Bunny, get in my cart. And then look at these little girls. Oh, $2.99. She has a broken head. This one, her arm was glued back on backwards. She's got a backwards hand. Backwards hand, backwards hand. Isn't there a song like that? This is so neat, but the fish is missing a mouth. We don't want a fish with a missing mouth. All right. Now we're into the Christmas. All right, so it looks like this is just about vases at the end. And we've got some cookware over here creamers and stuff <laughs> oh that's awesome what is this is that portugal no it's tunisia 2.99 i like the colors of that so i'm gonna stick that in here this 
is uh, Peach Lester. We're just going to go through the shelves real quick, and then I'll do them again. I, this is what I normally do. I normally go through pretty quick, and then I circle back around at a slower pace, but I just want to get that initial overview of everything and grab what I can. Oh, this is neat. That's vintage. Oh, it's a George Briard. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's got some wear on it, but... Boy, that's cool, isn't it? I think we're gonna grab that. Oh my goodness, that's so neat. <laughs> it's $4.99. That's really pretty. There's no markings on it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm really tempted. You know what, that would, that would make for a good booth piece. We're trying to do the summer thing and I think that that might go well with the theme we have going in the booth. Mom might appreciate that. Um, let's see here. Lots of clear glass. I feel like everybody donates their clear glass to Goodwill. <laughs> is that the thing? You donate the clear glass to Goodwill? What is this? It's made of cardboard or something. What is this in the back? Oh, it's modern decorative thingamabobber. Okay, let's glance over the end cap. Those are made to look like Jim Shore, and they're obviously not. Where are the colorful vases? Those are all clear vases. I want a little bit of color. There's a picture. <laughs> There's no colored vases. That's kind of sad. Where's all the color? All right, there's baskets. And then over here is the plastic tumblers and all that. I don't usually look through plastics, but occasionally I will because people seem to want to stash stuff in the plastics. This looks like it might have some age to it. It's marked USA. I kind of like the color on that. Blue. We'll stick that in here. Hi! <laughs> that is fancy and super fragile. A little too fragile for my liking. I have a lot of stuff around the edges of this place, and I decided to give it a peek. It looks like the 4th of July display is over on this side. Red, white, and blue. <laughs> That's a neat looking vase. You can tell it's flash colored though because all the flash is wearing off the foot. I'm kind of curious about this one in the back. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that out. Oh wait, maybe, maybe, maybe. Probably not. No, it's too thick to get out. <laughs> I don't know, the feel of it's a little off, so I'm just gonna leave it back there. I'm not gonna mess with it. What is this? Somebody's weird sculpture. I think that belongs in a lizard tank. <laughs> Here, glassy baby, where are you? I know you're on the shelf somewhere. There's a neat vintage platter back there. Huh. What is that? Oh, crap. Oh, it's Eva Zeisel. Classic shape. Oh, interesting. I know Eva, Eva, Eva Zeisel. If I'm pronouncing that correctly. That uh, can be worth some money. So I'm going to stick that in here. I actually thought it was going to be Russell Wright. I think they have similar designs. All right. Well, I think I'm going to head to the checkout with this stuff. And then there's another thrift store around the corner, so we'll go check that one out. City Mission Thrift Store. Here we go. Oh my goodness, is that ever cute? Charm Stone. $3.99. Alright, so we're off to a good start. We know prices are going to be reasonable. This is chipped, 99 cents. Hmm, too cute. $3.99 on her. She's Royal Copley. I think they came in pairs. I think there was a little boy as well. Alright, so it looks like most of their things are located around the outskirts. And then otherwise, it's clothing. So we'll peek around the edges. I think it's 50% off books. I don't want to do anything with books. Books are more Andrew's thing. I thought this was really great, this setup too, until I noticed that somebody went in with like 
purple marker or, I don't know, puffy paint and tried to touch that one up. Trace it, I don't know. It's kind of a bummer. There's no markings on those though. Over here, I've spotted some carnival. $3.99 on the carnival. It's kind of just a whatever piece though. It's got damage on it. Unfortunately, that last thrift store was a little bit of a bust. It was really nice. It was clean. They had cute things. The prices were right, but I just didn't find anything. Um, so we have moved on now to another Goodwill. We are in Somerset. We have passed by this Goodwill multiple times. And the reason we've passed by it is because... It says outlet. It says outlet. And I really don't want to go digging through the bins. But if you look it up on Google, there's it's, there's no pictures of bins. So I'm really confused. We decided to go in there and see. We're just gonna go in and see what's up. Um, but yeah, I don't feel like digging through bins, but on, on the Google pictures, there's shelves. So we're gonna go see what it's all about. Cause maybe there's, maybe it's just a regular store. Um, Laurel's awake. She's coming in with us. Andrew, are you hanging out? Are you coming in? Yeah, we'll come in. He's gonna come in. Let's go see what we can find. Well, this is not what I think of when I think of an outlet. <laughs> this isn't an outlet. Hi. No, hi. This is a real Goodwill. This isn't an outlet. This is the real deal. Look at this, $3.99, that's pretty. Yeah, what is that? Is that glass? No, that's pottery. I thought maybe that was gonna be glass. This is not an outlet. <laughs> See, this isn't an outlet, they tricked us. Yeah, uh-oh, they tricked us. How many times have we driven by this? And said, we don't wanna dig through the bins. Ooh, what did you find? Glass? You found glass. Yeah. Hi. Oh, you see squirrel? Hi. <laughs> oh, no, no. You see the birdie? Look. Is that a birdie? You want to hold that? That's plastic. You can hold it. Yeah. Those are black glass. There's a weeping gold vase. $1.99. $1.99 isn't a bad price on that. Look at that. She's going to say hi to you 7 million times. Listen, she can oh. say hi as much as she wants. Oh, she's a hi. scratchy beard, Daddy. Scratchy beard. So I'm down here looking, right? And I... <laughs> oh, Blanco. <laughs> can you believe that? $3.99. Heck yeah. Ah, yes. Purple Blanco. Heck yeah. She was hiding behind this. Hi. That made my day. I was actually checking out that down there because that's still in the box. I'll take Blanco. What else do we have over here? That was exciting. Now it's a treasure hunt. <laughs> Quality brand country bread. Heater. Oh, look. $2.99 on the Kitschy Cats. Is that Charlie? Hi. Hi. <laughs> she says Charlie. It's the only bird she can name is Charlie. 
is Charlie flies to the window and you point at him and you say, Charlie! Charlie! Those are crazy looking. Yikes, I'd break my ankle on those. I'd also be seven feet tall. Yeah. This actually looks like it has some age. I'm surprised there's not a bunch of damage on that. The holy family. So we will stick that in here. Last time I bought chalkware though it broke, so we'll have to be very careful with that. Hi! Hi, are you saying hi to the figurines now? It's very nice of you to say hi to them. I'm sure that they appreciate that. <laughs> Oh my goodness, now I'm convinced there's stuff hiding from me. Royal Stewart. Those are kind of fancy. I like those. Yeah. Don't smack it. It's plastic. Oh. I'm not to worry about it. That's why I gave it to her. It was glass, she wouldn't be playing with it. Up on the top shelf next to that creamer. Oh, yeah. It's fancy. Is it? It's older. Japan? No. Oh. Jean Poyat. The teapot's right there. Do you bet there's not a creamer? Or is it hiding? Uh oh. Uh oh, maybe it's hiding, Laurel. Keep your eyes peeled. Did you check the creamers over there? Mm -hmm. Did you check the creamers for the creamer? I didn't see it. I didn't notice it. That's fancy. Wow. All right. I think this is a fresh cart that they're using to stock. I don't really see anything in there. mugs either. There's elf. Looks like there's more over in this corner. It's kind of sprinkled all over the place. This reminds me of the Bedford Goodwill. I think we're going to stop there next if we have enough time. Those little angels in there are darling. The one in front looks like it might be left in or something. I'm really digging the ones in the back though. All these carts are just uh, stocking carts. So we'll ask to see that pair of angels. Um, there's a pair of angels in there. Oh, where did daddy go? Right, let's check back there one more time. One more time. Make sure we didn't miss it. This is cool. I think that has some age. These are Germany. Yeah, I think those are great. Didn't I think the other two are Japan, probably, but I like the German ones. Yeah, All right, well, that was fantastic. Now we know this is not an outlet, and I mean, the prices were great, so maybe it is now, I don't know, but um, I'm so thrilled. <laughs> With that water pitcher in Amethyst, that was amazing. Our total spend here was only $31. We got the Kitschy Cats. We got that Amethyst water pitcher, which could be Blanco. I think uh, Kanawa Glass also makes those, so I'll just have to make sure that it is Blanco before I label it Blanco. Um, but it's just such a beautiful color. I don't actually have it in that color, so I don't know if it'll be swept away into my collection. We'll see. Um, but anyway, 31 bucks. That was great. We're gonna get back on the road now. Um, We'll definitely be stopping here again at some point. It's right on our way to Springfield, on our way back. And I think we've skipped over this like twice, thinking it was the bins. So I feel kind of silly now. Um, but anyway, I guess we'll see all of you guys tomorrow. So, well. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you.